Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is Rachel of Rachel Land Plans and today I will be planning out the week of June 21st through June 27th in my A5 Plum Paper Planner. So the reason why I'm doing another daily play with me is because on Sunday when you know when my play with me went live on Instagram I realized that it is uh, the Black Lives Matter planner challenge week and that means we are in the planner community we are um, decorating our planner spreads in black and white I just I didn't know until I posted that and then I saw it so I made the decision to change change out the stickers that I had planned on this past plan with me and I moved them so this is what my current week is looking like now I just moved all my stickers to this next week that's coming up and put all black and white stickers on here so I have already planned out the next week so I can't do a plan with me with it already done obviously and I didn't do anything different so if you want to see that plan with me I will link it up above but we can take a look at the current week like I I usually do it is a Friday afternoon and this is how it's looking I love how it's turning out so far more than likely I'm going to leave some space so I can put in a quote or some more stickers but yeah I like how it's turning out so far and it's a very special movement to be part of not that this is really making a difference but I do want to show my support so here is my way of supporting in a way and then doing things behind the scenes as well and then and then here is uh, next week's spread. Let's get started on the daily plan with me. Uh, daily plan or the week, whatever. Good grief. Um, let's see. It is, like I said, it is Friday. I have worked. I did a manicure when I got home. I also ordered pizza. My husband and I finished watching Loki. We started it, what day was it? Wednesday. Is it even on here? Yeah, it's Loki and dinner. We didn't finish it. We ended up having somebody come over and kind of interrupt <laughs> our show. So so we finished it while we were eating dinner, early dinner tonight. So I will I will end up writing that in here as well. So let me, here's the rest of this week. But I'm going to go ahead and take the sheets out of this planner through Sunday. And this is on um, Happy Planner Disc. I had mine punched by Plum Paper Planner. But as I've said many times in many videos, I will not be doing that again. I will be punching my own with the Happy Planner Puncher. That's how I was doing it before they even offered the disc punch or disc bound. And that's just the way I like it. The punching is a little bit different. I have actually done a video showing how I punch my plum paper planners with the happy planner puncher if you are interested I will link that as well so let's get started on Monday so this particular planner as I've showed before it is mainly for function I don't do any cute stickers or anything like that like this is for me to make sure that I get all my stuff done my weekly is for decoration and function and memory keeping so it's kind of a it's different it stays on my desk. This one I put on our, our kitchen table. That way I can see it every day during the day, throughout the day, whatever, and make sure that I get all my tasks done. And then every night I co go into my office and write down, you know, do the memory keeping and check things off and all that on my weekly. So that's how kind of how I plan each day and each week. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to pull out my uh, time strips and some other stickers that I will use I keep these in this front pocket I ordered this whenever I whenever I ordered the planner it's just the clear um, I think it's like a pocket protector or something like that I'm not sure exactly what it's called but I got this whenever I got the planner and I think this might be yeah I punched this myself with the happy planner puncher so I just moved this from one other planner to this one so I don't think that plum paper will punch this for you as disbound I'm not positive about that though but I did punch it myself so I, this is where I keep the stickers that I use strictly for this planner it just makes things easier I don't have to go and look for them in my sticker books and so 
yeah, it just makes things simple. These are the stickers I will be using. They're all black and white. I don't, like I said, I don't decorate. I don't try to make this planner pretty. I just want it for function and that is it. So what I'm going to do is put down the time strips that I had ordered from Nicole Hutch Design. Now these are a custom strip that I had made specifically for the A5 daily. So I put the time strip down and then I always write 5 a.m. right here with just a smaller nib pen. This is a Muji 0.5 I think, yes. And I just write 5 a.m. And then I will take my regular pen that I always use, the Energel Klena. It has a 0.7 needle tip refill inside. And I will just take a line from 5 a.m. to 1 because that is my schedule for Monday on the 21st. So I'm just gonna bring, okay, well, I'm gonna bring it way past where I was supposed to. And then I'm gonna bring some white out out. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking right then. Okay, so it's from five to one. I just draw a line down and to one uh, p.m. Oh my gosh, if I could get my words together. And then I will just write work like that. And then I need to put my task. And eventually I'm gonna get it together and this time with me is gonna go a lot smoother here in a minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna use next week's already pre-planned which is what I normally do because I usually do my daily setup on Sundays and so all this would already th like my weekly would already be done and I just use it as a reference whenever I'm doing like planning out my week in the daily that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use this and write down all my tasks chores and such in here okay so task on Monday will be litter box water Gerber daisies and check Check the ivy and succulent plant. I check it every week or check them every week and if they need to be watered I water them but they aren't like the Gerber daisies like they don't have to get watered every other day like them right now because it's in the like 90s it was 100 degrees I think yesterday yesterday the day before anyways it was hot Okay, I'm going to put in planner check in here. And this is just for me to check in with my weekly planner in the evening. And then also a planner check in. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't talk whenever I do this. Okay, this is supposed to say content check in, but all right. So that is what I put there. And I check in with my content planner, make sure or check, you know, check what I need to be doing for the next day. Like if I need to take a picture or, you know, something like that, I wanna get it done like the night before or even earlier. That way I'm not like crunch time. So that is that. I do those two every evening. And then down here is where I put my meals, but I kind of cut it off in the middle. So so I can put hydrate. These are my um, habits. So hydrate, skincare, relax, do it bed by 10, and no spin. So as far as my habits go, they're, they're very repetitive. I've been doing pretty much the same ones in my weekly plan with me's and have explained it numerous times, but if you haven't watched, I will tell you what these mean. Hydrate obviously is water, drinking water, which I have been doing really well this week. I'm quite surprised, but I did, well, my husband bought me a lot of those, like Crystal Light, but that's not the only company. Like Sunkist, I think is one, Wiley's is one, I think Starburst is one. Anyways, it was a bunch of different companies that make the little packets that you put into the water bottles and then you shake the water bo bottles and it makes a flavored water. Well, my husband bought me a whole bunch of different ones for me to try and it has helped tremendously as far as me drinking water, like so much because I can't stand water. But I've been doing really, really good this week. Okay, moving on. Skincare is not only face care, but also taking care of just the rest of my skin. My hands have basically aged a million years since the pandemic because at work, I have to wash my hands so many times. And oh, I don't have my rings on. And use hand sanitizer a million times. So with that, it has dried my hands out so bad. I mean, it got to the point where it was almost like a dry rash on my hands. 
It was, it's, it's bad. That is why I'm trying to take care of that. Also, cuticle care goes in with the skin care and just taking care of all of my skin. So that's what that is. Relaxing is coming home after work and just hanging out, chilling out, not doing anything, watching uh, YouTube or looking at things on Instagram or listening to a podcast or just watching TV. Just something that is completely unproductive for me just to chill out before I start doing things around the house so that is relax bed by 10 is because I have to be at work super early 5 a.m. 5 30 6 o'clock early in the morning and I don't like to go to bed because I'm a night owl so I will stay up forever and not go to sleep so I'm trying to get in some kind of a routine where I go to bed early and then you know eventually fall asleep but it's not it's still not working out very well I don't I don't really know what to do about that I mean even checking it off as a habit is not even working so I don't you know I don't know we'll figure it out and no spend so I have spent a lot of money on washi tape from simply gilded and stickers from Nicole Hutch designs and where else some other sticker shops I can't exactly recall right now but I know those two for sure have got a lot of my money oh um coffee monsters co did a pre-order just a few days ago Go, so I did I ordered that anyway I, I have to get on a no spend and not spend any money that way I can save some money so that is no spend all right so those are my habits that way you know what they are or what they mean and the next part is breakfast lunch and dinner as far as meals so I do not plan breakfast and lunch but as far as dinner I used to do meal planning when my daughter still lived here which she moved out um, May 31st so it hasn't been a month yet but ever since she moved out I have not meal planned not one bit not one week and I don't <sighs> Okay, so I'm having a, a difficult time trying to figure out meal plans when it's just my husband and I. And I've talked about this the last couple of weeks. I'm just trying to figure out something. But for now, we are eating out and my husband will cook something kind of on the whim. And it's kind of been working, but we've been spending a lot of money on food out. So I have to figure something out soon. So... But as of now, I don't have a meal plan. But if I do decide to do a meal plan, that's where I will write it down. Okay, so the last part on this day will be the top three, which is right here. And uh, I don't have anything like super important to do on Monday. So I'm just going to leave it blank for now. And if something comes up between now and Monday, I will write it here or just leave it blank. And as far as like the different things that I put on here or the, the what I how I customized it was I put top three here schedule here meals right here to do right here and thoughts right here sometimes I'll put a quote or something going on I will end up writing it here and most of the time it's blank I don't really write anything there and if I could put something here I would have put habits but you can't you can only do you can only uh, customize it right there so that's how I did it I'm happy with it I had originally bought an A5 and left everything blank and bought stickers for each header type of thing but to me it was just too much work for this planner like I'm not trying to put a lot of effort into this planner it's like I said function and having to do all that is just not something that I'm I'm trying to do because I do I focus on stickers and stuff in my weekly and I'm just trying to on Sunday nights just trying to get through pre-planning for the whole week and it not taking long so that's why I don't do any of that and pick the things that I was pretty sure that I would like and so far I've been in this planner since January and it's been working so there is that the last thing is weather so um, on Sunday I will put in the weather from Monday through Wednesday I'm not even gonna put it right now because our weather has been you know like going up and up and up and I don't want it to be like completely in or inaccurate but this is how I'll do it I just draw in a sun or the cloud or whatever and then put in the weather so that is how I'm going to do it on Sunday evening whenever I typically would be doing my daily pre-planning so that is Monday 
The last thing I do on my days is put in a clean color dot just to add color. This also is not necessary, so if this is something that you're like, well, I, I don't wanna do that, or you know, you don't like it, or whatever, that's fine. I just like to add this for a little bit of color, something different than this peach color, and I don't know, it works. And I just pick a random color and I use it throughout the entire month. So there is Monday. Now this will be all pretty much repetitive except like my to-do list, but like my schedule might be different, but it's going to be all done the same way. So let me just do my to-do first and that, oh, I got a lot of stuff to do on Tuesday. Okay, so the last week of the month, I, okay, let me, let me just write down this stuff. Uh, wash sheets and duvet cover and make bed. I don't put make bed. <laughs> My sheets will literally sit on an unmade bed for a couple days. Okay, so those two, and then I change our Scentsy Wax. We use Scentsy Warmers here, and um, I like to change the wax two times a week for our house to smell nice and fresh. Okay, so what I was about to say was on the last week of the month, I do what I consider a monthly cleaning. And that is, I'm gonna put monthly cleaning. Actually, I should have put it over here, but that's okay. Monthly cleaning. Okay, so that is fans, blinds, baseboards, return vents, and kitchen cabinets. Okay, so that's my monthly cleaning. And what that means is these particular things, unless they get like super dingy or like the cabinets, for instance, if we have something on our hand and we open up a cabinet and gets on it, of course, we're going to wipe it off. The rest of this is going to be repetitive as far as a planner check-in, habits, and the meal part, and then putting down the sticker for the time strip for my schedule. So I did all that. I added wash hair on Tuesday because I wash my hair every two to three days just because my hair doesn't get oily. So I put off washing it unless it's like super dirty. I just make sure to put that in my habit just to remind myself to do that. And then I put the time strip up at six o'clock here because for the rest of this week coming up, I um, work six to or I start work at six instead of five or 5.30. And so I just went ahead and did my, put my time strip up at the top instead of bringing it down like I did for the 5 a.m. start. And then I'm gonna do the same thing as far as just drawing a line down to what time I work. And again, it can be messy, it does not matter to me. And then I just write work, again, that's messy. And then up here for the top three, I am going to put in monthly cleaning. And sometimes I do repeat something that's over here and I put it here. That way it like kind of stands out. I think that's good enough for now. I was gonna do wash sheets, but I'm gonna be doing so much cleaning type stuff that day. I doubt I will forget to do that anyway. Okay, so that is Tuesday. Oh, I need to put my dots. And when I was putting in the dots, I realized that I don't have bed by 10 down here on Tuesday, like the habit tracking on Tuesday, I don't have bed by 10 and that's because I do not work on Wednesdays and so I don't force myself to go to sleep early. I'll probably will end up falling asleep early anyway. That's been happening a lot lately. Like I end up taking a nap, but then I take a nap for like five hours. It's crazy. Okay, moving on to Wednesday. No time strip. What I'm gonna put is a day off sticker from Monarch Plans. It is sheet H111. So I'm just gonna put that right next to where it says schedule. So I just put day off here and then I'm gonna write in my to-do. So water Gerber daisies and I've decided to start watering them every other day. Once the temperature gets in the 90s, they like water and they are in the sun uh, most of the day. And so I just wanna make sure that I remember to water them like every other day right now because otherwise they will 
not be happy with me. Okay, so the other thing I do on Wednesday is I write down the weather for Thursday through Sunday. And that's just to try to keep it as accurate as possible. Also clean the litter box. And then we clean the refrigerator out and take the trash and our bulk trash out on Wednesday evening. So usually we will do leftovers for dinner on Wednesday. That way we can clean out or, you know, eat what's left over in our fridge and then throw it out that night. Our trash pickup is Thursday mornings. Okay, and then I'm going to do the planner check-ins and my habits. Wednesday I typically on my days off I try not to do a, like a whole bunch of or a lot of chores I like to for my day off to be a day off so these are just little things and all four of these can be done in the evening so even the watering can be done in the evening because it doesn't get cold here so at 70 degrees it's okay to water our plants at night anyway as far as the top three i don't have anything important going on so i'm just gonna leave that blank so there is wednesday now as far as the schedule goes like because i don't have a schedule i usually like write down the things that I've done for the day so I can reference it if I don't check into my planner that's another thing that I do with this daily planner I do write down like different things that we've done so just in case I don't do a planner check-in I do have this as a reference when I do go back to my weekly planner to fill it in okay so there's Wednesday Ooh, let me put my dots okay next is Thursday I'm gonna put in my task meal plan now I had said, I think it was like the week that my daughter was moving out or maybe the week after that. Anyway, I had put that I was gonna start doing meal planning on Thursday because when I do my weekly plan with me's or you know, when I pre-plan for my weekly, I like to have the meal plan done. That way I can write all the meals in for the next week. Yeah, didn't even start meal planning. So that that is that. But there it is on Thursday, just in case I get my stuff together. Okay, so vacuuming I do on Thursdays and mopping. These two might end up being done on Tuesday when I'm doing the monthly task. Sometimes I just do it all that way it's done. Okay so the other thing I do on Thursdays is do pre-planning in my weekly planner and that is to prepare for my plan with me's on Friday. I'm gonna put in my planner check-in and my habits and then I'm going to get over there to do my schedule. my schedule for Thursday and then up here in my top three I am going to write meal plan <laughs> just so it'll stick out a little bit more <laughs> I, I don't know y'all I don't know it's 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 kind of sad you know that I can't get my crap together in order to just meal plan I mean, it can't be that difficult, right, to meal plan for two people. It can't be that difficult, right? Right? I don't know. Okay, so there is Thursday. Put down my dots. Okay, moving on to Friday. Okay, so Friday is whenever I get off of work. My normal thing to do is to do a manicure because I know that I am going to be filming a plan with me and I don't want my nails to look like a hot mess. I can't paint my nails because of work or get fake nails because of work. So I try to do a manicure on Fridays when I get off of work. Okay, so I do that and then uh, I like to also do a pedicure like every two to three weeks just depending on the nail polish on my toenails and I think I think I'm going to do one this coming Friday. That on here. I do the litter box. 
I change our Scentsy Wax again and then uh, water the Gerber Daisies. And then I will also do, more than likely do my filming of my plan with me on Friday. However, I don't write it down anymore because I was having a issue with writing it down and then end up filming on Saturday. I will put film up here as like one of the top three, but I will not put it on here. If that makes, it probably doesn't make sense, but it does to me. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the planner check-in and content check-in and then my habits. I was saying I was going to put film up here that way I kind it like sticks out and reminds me that I need to do that on Friday when I get off of work and there isn't anything else that's super important so I'm just gonna add my dots and move on to Saturday while I was putting those dots out dots down oh my gosh okay I thought about on Wednesday we have Loki and so I think I'm gonna put that in the top three because my husband and I have been forgetting until like later on Wednesday like Wednesday evening or you know too late Wednesday or whatever and so if you don't know what I'm talking about there's a show on Disney Plus called Loki that uh, premiered let's see two Wednesdays ago like yeah and anyway we are it's a Marvel if you have no idea it's a Marvel comics thing so anyway Loki I'm just gonna put right there that way it will remind us like when we're eating lunch or whatever to not forget to watch that let's move to Saturday so Saturdays I do clean out my car and that's this is a task or chore whatever you want to call it this is something that I do on the last day that I work for the week so Saturday I like I'm off on Sunday and Saturday will be the last day for this week and I like to clean out anything that has kind of accumulated in my car because I do take all of my breaks and my lunch in my car at work so that is that I also like to do my laundry on the last day I work as well get everything cleaned and ready for the next week and also put fold and put away on my to-do list because I don't know if y'all enjoy putting laundry away but I certainly don't and this is just kind of a reminder to just go ahead and get it put away and folded and so forth so that is that I will also more than likely be doing my editing from my filming on Friday so I'm just going to well I'll just go ahead and put that up here right now and then put in my normal stuff as far as my planner check-in and my habits Saturday not much going on either I mean my life is pretty boring it's you know chores work watching TV and not mail planning <laughs> but for real it's it's very boring very very boring we don't have little kids my daughter just moved out at the end of uh, May so I mean we at, at this point it's even more boring because we don't have her to entertain us I guess Anyway, moving on to Sunday. Sundays, I clean the bathrooms and I wash or change out the towels depending on the week. So this week will be washing towels. I guess I could have put wash towels, whatever. And then fold and put away just like I do on my laundry. My husband does his own laundry, so I don't have to worry about that. We, let's see. My husband usually washes our cars on Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. So I will put that on here. I'll put it here. Maybe it'll stick out to him too. Okay, and then I'll water the Gerbers, 
put in the weather for Monday through Wednesday and then do planner check-ins. And right here, I'm also going to put daily pre-plan because typically is when I do the daily um, pre-planning is on Sunday evenings. So I'm just gonna put that there and then put in everything else as far as the check-ins and habits. to put another one of these day off stickers up there by schedule and then put in my dots okay so there is nothing planned on next sunday so i mean nothing like no appointments i guess nothing important these normal things will get done if there's anything else like i want to stand out i will put up here but wash cars is something that my husband does and i want that to kind of stick out <laughs> So he'll remember to do that. So that is it for Sunday. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just put these back in the planner real quick. Sorry, these metal discs make a really loud noise on my desk. This planner is almost, or this part of, like I only have January through the end of June on these discs because like the whole year in daily form, uh, that's the right wording. But anyways, if I had another six months, they would not fit on these discs. I would have to actually get the, I think they're called a expander disc or something. Oh gosh, I don't remember what they're called. But anyways, they make a bigger disc than these. But I didn't want my daily planner to be like super thick. And I just put the first six months. And then once June is over, what I'll do is just pull out July through December that I already have. And because whenever... I bought the this planner I bought a whole year's worth of like January through December of 2021 golly can I get my words okay so anyways I put those back in and this is basically it there is no glitz or glam to this planning system that I do as far as my daily planner this is so I get my crap done and yeah it, it works for me it's not anything special and that's okay and I will play I, I post some of these spreads on Instagram because this is how like real planning is like not everybody plans you know super fancy and pretty all the time like I just need something to make sure that I get my stuff done every day in a timely manner so that is my point in this this is this is what works and hopefully this inspires you to plan the way that you want to plan that works for you because that's what's most important it doesn't matter what it looks like or how pretty it is or how ugly it is it doesn't matter as long as how your planning is working for you and helping you get your things done throughout the week and month and so forth so I hope you like this plan with me if you did please give it a thumbs up I will be back to like normal weekly planning this coming up week and I think it's for July 4th week I think so and I still have to do a sticker organization I'm also thinking about doing kind of a sticker organization slash haul because I've bought a lot of Simply Gilded Washi and I also got a lot of stickers from Nicole Hutch Designs that I need to organize. So that sticker organization thing that I've been talking about for the last couple of week, weeks, I really need to get that done. So hopefully I can get it up this current week. But if I don't, I will be back on Sunday with the weekly plan with me. And until then, I hope you all have a great week and I will see y'all later. Bye y'all.